Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by the legendary Gigi. I call him Gigi because his name is Gaurav Gurbaksani and he has been a collector of domains, which is a really interesting side hustle that he has going, which makes him a lot of money. We will get into that. Owner of digitalmarket.com and now AIexpert.com. He's got a whole bunch of really cool freelancers that really bow to him and his expertise. And I'm excited to have him on the show. Gaurav, good to have you, man. Thanks, John. I am extremely excited and honored to be on the best podcast show ever. I would say that this is perhaps my first podcast. So Super grateful and I'm going to do my best in sharing whatever I can. Well, in my lifetime, I have popped a lot of people's podcast cherries. So I'm very, very happy to pop yours. It has been an absolute pleasure to do that for others. So great to have you on the show, brother. Like, let's talk about your origin story. When I ask you, like, look back, Gigi, at your life as an entrepreneur, what highlights come to mind? What are the bits that you remember the most? Man, that's an interesting question. And at the same time, like it keeps reminding me how old I actually am. You know, mostly people tell me like, dude, you look pretty young. You must be 28, 30. I'm like, dude, I'm turning 40 next year. So my origin story, I would say, like something that was emotionally charged in my mind was literally receiving my first internet paycheck when I was 14 years old. So this was like 1999 and a check, I still have it. I made a video of it now because that was like the most coolest moment. I was 14 and I received an affiliate income check from the US. And I remember going and showing my dad like, dude, I quit school. I don't want to go to school. I'm making money. And you know, that kind of the reason that happened was because I went to Google when my dad was, I kind of say, you know, you look at it backwards and you think how fortunate you are. Like my dad was in the computer business. So we had early access to all the computers. Mm -hmm. He used to sell these computers and, you know, sometimes the hard disk would be missing. Sometimes a screen would be missing, but more or less, like I got access to the internet super duper early on and one of the first things I searched for is make money online. What I did, how I did, man, I don't know. But I made cash and I got a check and I said, dude, this is a real deal. And after that, I like never even thought of, you know, having a shop or a restaurant or an offline business or anything traditional because like I knew that why should you take such a big risk? All you need is like a website, you need this, you need that. It's much easier. So that was the first thing. And then like, I told my dad, I want to quit school. He was like, please shut up and go back to school. And <laughs> That's an Indian parent after, right there. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then I, then he told me to do post-graduation, like hotel management. And I did hotel management, spent like three years doing that. You know, everyone says there's no experience unwasted. And I'm like, dude, you should have given me the computer back then. You should have given me a credit card. I would have bought every single domain in the world and we would have been like, rich you know so anyway a lot of learning made, made friends then i told my dad i'm quitting hotel management because my job was like literally to open the door i was working at the hyatt regency and my job was the door opener for the hotel's front gate and dude i did that for like three days and i'm like what the heck man my arm hurts and my dad just paid so much cash for me to study hotel management i thought i'm becoming the general manager and now I'm a door opener but if I gave it like some time and then I went into sales but I quit in three months saying that dude this is completely not what I want to do I didn't yeah. know what I wanted to do I had no freaking idea I quit that quit hotels next day sat uh, pretty much automated and the reason why I tell you automated because I know you're an AI geek but I automated my entire job sending out process center to every single company in Bombay just applied like blindly to many companies and whoever was giving me a job I was prepared to take that but I joined the best company called Direct Eye in Bombay okay. in Mumbai and today they're a billion dollar company and man I saw business there like I literally saw like dude what am I thinking you know like normally you're thinking as a freelancer you're thinking just for the next big thing. Today I'm earning 25,000 rupees. 
now I want to earn 50,000 rupees, okay, now I want to earn 1 lakh or 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs. But we normally look at doubles. But then when you see someone who's looking at, you know, like not even thousands, billions, you're just like, ah, mm -hmm. this is pretty interesting stuff going on over here. So super grateful to Directa. I got a nice foundation, learned the internet. They would only hire engineers. Like that was their requirement. You need to be an engineer as a hotel management guy. But I'm like, dude, I will learn anything you tell me. Like just, just tell me. And then yeah. they're like, no, yeah, we can use a guy like you without like a programming thing. Maybe you get into sales, we'll figure. You like tech. That was the kind of interview we had. And then of course the entrepreneur bug right back when I was 14, was like, dude, DIY, do it yourself. Started a business with my dad, then one thing led to another. The opportunities are literally endless. Mm -hmm. And I like to keep up with my passion and my niche. And I think like without the internet, it would have been a very different life story, totally. corporate totally. scenes. And I've got some friends in the corporates and stuff. And I'm like, dude, man, you got to do something. I care for you. I love you. I don't want to see this happen to you. And you're smart enough. Like, I know I can vouch for you. You're smart enough to do this yourself. Yeah. You know, so that's, yeah. that's my drive. Well, this is really interesting. I mean, I hear your story, even though we've met a few times, you know, this is really fascinating when I've known my dad my whole life, but I knew way more about him when I interviewed him. And <laughs> that was so fascinating. Being in this position to get someone's story is just such a privilege. And also, I think it's really, really good to go into academia at some stage, at some part of your life because of the way academia layers concepts. Now, I want to talk about this obsession with the internet. It is just no doubt about it. Everything, the way you see it, the way you look around it, it's obviously... For me, it's like how I see AI as like, I feel like I'm Neo in the matrix, the way of thinking and the concepts. And it's just been inculcated into me that I feel like I see things that others don't see. And I think because of your upbringing, because of dad being selling computers, I mean, do you feel that? Do you feel the, the fact that you are exposed to that a lot earlier on in your journey allowed you to now see opportunities that others don't see absolutely like that's just a very quick yes and like i said i was fortunate to get this computer but then i was also very inclined towards this computer you know and i was just watching like some shows about silicon valley how it got started bill gates steve jobs and they also say that the computer was there at the right place at the right time you know, that's when they started, it was the elder curve, they, they were privileged, they got the better. So that slight edge, I think that slight edge is because now if I talk to someone about digital marketing, you know, I know just a little bit more about them. And for that, I'm the expert, right? So I think the earlier you start is the secret. And if you can start young, then please start young. Yeah, totally. I mean, I think it's interesting to see how when you're young, what kind of cognitive connections you make with things that you're exposed to. And for me, I'm, I'm kind of similar. There were a couple of things that really, really worked for me. And I think the exact two things that you kind of spoke about in different ways. The first one was that I was lucky to have parents that, you know, let me lose at a computer and got it into the home a lot earlier on, which like made the biggest difference because I can in my sleep open and break down a computer. And I think the second thing that also you have, which worked for me, was the ability to think for myself a little bit, because my dad was into construction and he was like, oh, you know, he's getting into engineering, he should like become a, a civil engineer. And I was like, no, I actually want to do computers. And, and I think I was so headstrong about it that they didn't even argue with me, which was great. And as a result, now it's such a huge, like what a decision to have been made Let's talk about how you got into digital market because digitalmarket.com is what a cool domain name. How did you get into it and what does it do today? And I really, really want to focus this whole interview around AI expert. But so let's talk a little bit about that background and then let's get into AIexpert.com. Sure, sure. 
So domaining is my passion. You know, I got into domaining because I needed some quick cash. I was like, but I've got some domain names. I've been buying domain names for some time. Let me go and try and sell one. And I listed them out. Do believe it or not, in the domain space, you'll believe it. It was sold out in 24 hours at 2,500 US dollars in my account. Called my sister, tell me the date, I'm coming. And she's like, dude, you just told me you're broke. I like, yeah, but I sold my domains. And yeah, so that kind of gave me the belief. And that still is my core belief that today we should be building digital assets. You know, build that mass of people, build that empire. So that's kind of been like my vision. And I knew I wanted to get into e-commerce. At the same time, I knew I never wanted to do the traditional business like inventory and warehouses and admin and all that crazy stuff. And over time, I'd been working, we had built a pretty cool digital marketing agency. You know, we still help like businesses every month with their digital marketing agency stuff. So I was like, why not make this e-commerce? Why not make the digital marketing agency e-commerce? But instead of us only being the people who are there, let's get in other people who can provide more and better services. Essentially a marketplace. So the long term is to, of course, be like a digital market where you can buy anything e-commerce. And, you know, you did mention AI expert, which you wanted to kind of lead this conversation into. And I just see this as a very natural ascension of business. I don't think digital marketing is going to change. Like, of course, Google has some competition and stuff, but do we still listen to radio? We are still going to Google stuff. We are still going five years from now, 10 years from now, most likely. In social media, you look at influencers, they're raking in cash. You look at paid ads, make money for advertisers. But with AI, there's so many new things that maybe you didn't know, or now you suddenly got the time to grow and scale your business with AI, because everyone's still learning. You know, it's like, I know AI as a concept is very old, but getting into the household, you know, where, you know, 1 billion people, oh, sorry, 100 million people in five days are talking about it. Yeah. yeah. The, the adoption is quite insane to watch actually. And the definition of intelligence is changing every day, which is, which is also kind of cool, but also kind of scary at the same time. Three days ago, there was a study done at the University of Texas where they put these sensors on people's brains and plug that into AI and the intelligent machines could understand our thoughts and also make cognitive decisions based on what we were thinking. And now that is a big, big step forward in the definition of the word intelligence mainly, right? And it's really interesting how we call it artificial intelligence. Maybe it should be called machine intelligence, primarily because intelligence is intelligence, right? I mean, you know, fact proven, we all came from a single cell organism and we became intelligent and we became this intelligent species. So it's really fascinating to see how intelligence is changing. I kind of want to just go back a little bit because you mentioned digital assets there and you mentioned how we should be looking at the space. And I just want to touch on that a little bit before we get into AI expert, because I think that's a natural progression. As you mentioned, when someone's starting off right now, someone's in a position that we're not in, how would you say that we should be looking at the digital landscape? And how should we be looking at building digital assets? Because AIexpert.com, you just bought a month ago, if I'm correct. So can you just give us an idea on how you see the world and what is the world looking like when you look at everything? You know, Ron, I really want to give you credit where credit is due. I think it was at the GBS where I had a light bulb moment listening to you. and. It was just like a breath of fresh air, like someone who was like, dude, AI is the scene. Then we had conversations. We had the good privilege of working with you. You were talking to the community. And it's not the first time I heard AI, but it was a very visible indicator that, dude, you know, you've got to get onto this bandwagon. It's just, it's still really, really nascent. And even if I don't understand it, 
I know being an early adopter is always good. That's like my experience and my knowledge reinforcing that, saying that don't overthink it. You know that this is the scene. You know that this trumps everything you know. And it was a nice ego reality check as well when it came to like, I thought on this hotshot digital marketing consultant, I'll give you a plan. And I just went and I asked ChatGPT, give me a plan. And I read it. I'm like, dude, I'm irrelevant. You know, like, what is the use of me like right now? That's like outdated. Like, this is nothing new. I know all these tools. I know all these software. And I want to be like the next step. So answering your question, starting from scratch, I think like, yes, I do have experience. I do have a little bit of knowledge, but I'm starting a brand new digital asset as of 2023 after wow. listening to your talk. Wow. I have goosebumps. You've never mentioned this to me before, by the way. And this is like the first time I'm hearing that version of the story. I assume that you just you know, got the AI expert based on whatever you saw around. I didn't actually know that it was my, my talk on stage that actually changed that. But also I did a talk to your community, which was actually a, was huge for me. Let's talk about getting into AI expert.com. What was the thinking behind it? Like, so you knew that you wanted to get into the AI world. What was your next steps? Like, how did you start the new thing when you're saying I'm starting from scratch? What does that scratch look like? You know, great question. Because when I started the digital marketing agency 15, 16 years ago, at that point, I wanted to be known as the SEO expert. And I worked really hard and I got some killer results. If you ask me technically, like, what skill do you have the best? I don't want to admit it, but I'll say SEO because I studied that like crazy. And I was thinking that imagine if I rank on Google on position number one for SEO expert, dude, my proof is in the pudding, right? Like who can right. ask me anything? I'm like, dude, I did for SEO expert. I can do it for any industry. So that went really, really, really well for that period of time where we were dominating Google for bulk of the SEO keywords, we made a ton of money at that point. So fast forward 2023, I'm betting with myself that the term AI expert is going to be a buzzword. Like people will want to be known as an AI expert. Yes. Whether this time around, whether it's me or not, I don't care. I just want to rank on Google for the AI expert, whether it's Ron ranking. Whether it's God of ranking, whether it's a hundred thousand other AI experts ranking, dude, good. We're part of the community. There's enough room for literally everyone. Meaning like, you know, I just see the abundance over there. Two is like competition is just so old school and boring. You know, it's so old school and boring. Collaboration, do it's fun. You know, it's, it's amazing fun. We're working together. We're learning together. We cup together make money together that's kind of like the vision it's so refreshing to hear the way you see the world i mean i'm so glad i asked that question and it's also fascinating because i don't necessarily have a list of questions that i think that i should ask before i feel like i prepare before i come and then i just let it flow when you see the world it's really in a collaborative manner as opposed to hey i want to be the number one i want to like I want to show everyone how smart I am and I want to be able to push my agenda before anyone else. That's why I'm going to go and do this first. And that's usually what I hear when it comes to anything in the AI space right now, because everyone's losing sleep over how quickly it's changing. And they're like, oh, I've got to get in first because someone else is going to come along and do it. As opposed to your shift in thinking about how it's so collaborative and the other day when we were chatting, you mentioned how you decided to create AIExpert.com as a social networking platform. Can you elaborate on that? Thanks, Rod. Yeah, like it really boils down to, you know, why I have this belief is whenever I have made money, you know, whenever I've made like a considerable amount of money, it's always been with a partner. And then I had the really good fortune of getting into this mastermind of people who 
literally were the definition of my competitors. And before we got into the mastermind, I had the mindset. I'm like, dude, what is he doing, man? Like, how does he have so many fans? Like, man, now I know why you're getting the results you're getting. Thank you for sharing. You know, thank you for sharing. And now it's like we are sending snapshots of bank account statements, you know, trying to like one up each other and sharing this. And now literally it's us against the world. It's like, dude, you know, you buy my course, you might as well buy his course because he's an expert in this stuff, you know. So everyone's got their unique scenes. So the space is like really, really out there. And see, AI is going to be a necessity. Just by doing one program with you, dude, I'm not going to become an AI expert. You need to do 10 programs. You need to go to all the masterminds. You need to know all the books. Even if there's that one thing that you've learned from me, like, you know, great. Good. Yeah. So there's a lot of collaboration and stuff like that. At least in this space. And, and I love that. I love that. I love learning from you. I love the way you see the world. I love how you've taught me so much in just such a little bit of time that we've spent together. Let's get into AI expert. How would you explain that to someone? I mean, we've spoken a lot about it. But if, if we were to like break it down and say, what is AIexpert.com? What is it right now? And what is your vision for it? So the business model is pretty simple. The first thing is to kind of like jump onto a trend. And there are a lot of tools available to find out like what people are searching for and things like that. And then depending on your budget, you, know, you can start off with a $10 budget. Because we've invested in similar projects, we said, let's go with a premium domain name, right? We've got a little bit of ex experience and expertise in that area. So depending on where you start, you know, you can start with $10, you can start with $100,000, you can start with a million dollars on the digital asset, depending on the size of the game or depending on what your exit plan is. So from the business model perspective is one start with a trend that you're interested in buy a good domain name, and then start building it as an authority website. You know, start getting really good content, start getting really good experts like yourself, podcasters, YouTubers, Instagrammers, people who want to be known in the AI space, right? Get them to start contributing to this network because it's not a one person's job. It's not do I can't hire 10 people, even if I hire 10 full-time people, we're not going to be able to cover AI tools, right? Yeah. But the only way we can tackle that is by building a community. We collaborate, we list down all the tools. We also put in the fun stuff of it, man. Meaning like, dude, AI can be like really funny. It can be really viral. Some days you have Donald Trump, some days you've got Joe Rogan, some days you've got... So we get it, like people want to just like chill, but they have a special interest in AI. How you said only on that, the way I see the internet, you see AI. Do there are millions of people who see AI the way we see AI? And there are millions of people who know much more than us, like a thousand times more. There's someone who is just learning about AI together, but that's what unites us, right? That's what reduces our learning curve. And in any industry, in any trend, there's going to be growth. So first you build a community, you build authority with Google, you build that brand, you build that social following on social media. And then either you continue to grow this because it's generating revenue from affiliates, it's generating money from experts. You know, there'll be a lot of people in the AI space who will be happy to pay money to be listed on AIexpert.com. If someone Googles you and it shows up on AIexpert.com for slash Ron Lee was, it's like, okay, you know, you might go and sign up for it or you might know more, we might collaborate. So that's like the kind of vision of it. And because we're talking about business models, A, it should start funding us right away, make money as quick as possible. And then we can even flip this domain. You know, we can flip this domain today if we wanted to. We can flip it two months, two years, five years, 10 years from now. And then cash out and see what's the next trend. Like, 
what's Ron talking about next and go in my domain, rinse and repeat. Such a cool way to look at it. It's like any asset, right? I mean, you mentioned assets at the start, digital asset. It's like any other asset, whether it's a company, whether it is a real estate asset, whether it is a stock or a share, whatever it does, it doesn't, it's like this, your principles are the same. It's like, it has to return. It has to be positively geared. It has to return straight away. And just breaking down what you just said, actually, um, this is not mine. I'm just kind of listening to what you're saying and going, wow, this guy is on a different level. And I love the way you think really. And then you build it to a point where you decide, okay, now I've built up so much equity in this brand, in this asset. And it's just brilliant in the way you've set this up. I want to still go. Yeah. I, I still want to go a little bit deeper into AI expert a little bit. So what is the plan right now? So what are you, what are you looking for? How can we help? How can we get there maybe quicker or more efficiently? Thanks for asking, Ron, and that's like, you know, the most favorite question an entrepreneur can get is like, how can we get there faster? So right now, let's say we are really in our MVP, a minimal viable product phase. So we're evolving right now. Initially, we thought we'd just be like a Reddit, you know, Reddit, come see these links and go. But there's so many websites kind of like that. And this could be a good value add. Where I see this turning into a success is when we get the network effect, you know, where we get good people contributing good stuff on their own. So we need to get to that level of uh, momentum to get started. And then I feel then there's really a snowball effect. If you like spoken to the top AI experts of the world, you're doing courses with them, you're doing programs with them. I think that's like the shortest, quickest way. Where I think you've already helped is, you know, of course, this podcast has given me also a lot of clarity saying that, yeah, otherwise all of this is in your head, but now it's like, okay, it makes sense. You know, I could see Ron probably being interested in getting a head start, or I could probably see someone else. So that the validation happens. As of now, it's not like a core business, you know, we probably still take maybe like two, three months to start monetizing it because uh, we need to get the right affiliate offers, the right content. It's not the first goal, but we want to run a profitable business. You know, we don't want to like wait for three years or five years to see, is I do it in two months? Is it like, at least in the right direction? Uh, is it in the right direction? So, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was going to say, please make sure that AIexpert.com slash Ronsley is available because I want to claim that because I think Books. that I already have so much content that I can give you right now because oh, I've done oh. a few of these conversations with other AI experts that we can create content from, you know, the conversation, we can break it down and this still what the main key takeaways are and how someone that when they read it, they can go and actually get use out of that. And if they want to hear the whole conversation, then they can go to the podcast. It's so simple, right? And then top it up with some of the tools that I've built. And it's really cool to have you test some of the tools because AI geek, the bot, is actually you're probably the only person that I gave access to. And I was like, can you play with this and see what it returns? And you know what? I love getting the messages saying, is the bot down? Because it's not working. And I'm like, oh, he's using it. Yes. And I think any creator around the world, that's the main reason we create is like to make sure that people use it. So I'm just so grateful to have met you, to have spoken at your event, to have collaborated with you and and just be part of your journey going forward. When someone's looking for you, and I want to land this plane now, where can someone find you and connect with you and look at your work? So I think like AIExpert.com would be an awesome place to network, you know, come create a profile, send me a message. That would be super awesome. Let me know, Ron sent you here, and then, you know, go from there, you know, from there. Instagram, I'm happy to drop my link, though. Of course, Gaurav, this has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for making the time. Thank you for helping us all see the collaborative nature of entrepreneurship because I think we need more reminders like that. I just love hanging out with you. Thank you for this. Thank you, Ron. I'm sure if I message you tomorrow, you will share like another link saying that this is a new version. And yeah, it's amazing to be on a similar journey, fascinated with AI and Look forward to learning more from you.
becoming an AI geek from you. And thank you so much for having me. I look forward to future conversations in the metaverse or in some new AI land. Wow. Amazing. Thanks, bro. Thanks, brother. This was awesome. Thanks, Sean.